Hey, CJ here with the Thrive team. We're joining you guys this week on Refuel. At Thrive, we are really passionate about keeping leaders healthy and churches thriving. If you've never heard about Thrive, check out the link in the description. You can learn all about our upcoming conferences. Now, someone once said, comparison is the thief of all joy. And I'm sure you, just like me, we've been in situations where we've compared ourselves to one thing or another. Well, Rick Warren, a tremendous communicator, pastor, author, shares a great thought about this with us in our refuel. Let's check this out. Comparing yourself to another church is like comparing a submarine and a tangerine. They may sound the same, but they're not even on the same thing. You're not. God has never called you to compare yourself. I remember the first year of Saddleback. Saddleback baptized 60 people the first year. I was pretty excited and proud of that. And I thought, we're already one of the top 10 in our denomination in this state, in California. And God just smote me. Have you ever been smote, Ray? You know? oh, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Well, God, God just smote me and, and, I, and said, I never called you to compare yourself because you'll be satisfied with comparison. Don't do that. And so I've never picked up a, a man, annual since then and looked and compared to statistics. Why? Never compare yourself. You'll always find somebody who's doing a better job than you and you get discouraged. Or number two, you always find somebody you're doing a better job then and you get full of pride. Yep. Either way, you're dead in the water. Yep. So pride and discouragement both take you out of the game. Never stop learning and never compare yourself. That's dumb.